welcome! We're the custodians! Oh I'm Rhett! <laughs> I'm Joe. Sadly, Gabe was not able to join us for this reaction, but this is the My Hero Academia Movie 4 trailer! Uh, again, uh, just as we what happened with our reaction to the first trailer for Season 7, uh, the subtitles were uh, fan-made. Rikasu and Ever, uh, I believe, are the the people who did these subtitles again. And I'd just like to say thank you very much. Uh, I know that it's already uh, it's late, but the other the English subtitle trailer hasn't dropped yet still. So at the time of recording, so still really helpful. But yeah, movie four. Um, there is one thing that I know is a plot point, and that has something to do with an evil All Might. That's all I know. And that's from the poster. Yeah, the, uh, not a whole lot to go off with. I mean, that's, it's, it's, it's a poster. It is a poster. It also looks like we're back in, like, Otheon. If that's, that was the place for movie three, right? World Heroes Mission? Is it, like, Otheon? Or something? I should remember that. That, that's, that's on me. Well, you that's can be reminded me. by watching our reaction to the movie three, available now with our full length on Patreon. <laughs> All right, let's just get into it. Right, I gotta go to work yes. relatively soon, so we're just gonna yeah, react to it. We, so we, we I got the, well. I got the trailer up. The trailer for My Hero Academia's fourth movie. What is it? Your next, or it's your next? It's your turn, which is the English version. Uh, <laughs> on go in three. Two, one, go. Hello? What's up? What's up playing? Go! What the hell? No, I got it. I got it. I got it. I just got to use the map. One more time. On go. Go. Oh my fucking god, it's not working. Okay. It has to work now. On go. In three, two, one, go. There we go. Wow, first try, Joe. Good work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like five good times good times look at that oh when they played the theme man all right so yeah we've got a copycat here hey he's got the drip i respect it he plays as the symbol he thinks he's him uh, can he not be oh my god bro just takes bro. off like a jet. yeah double four oh the the, the six escapees are the assassins it has to be the my God, what it suddenly it's appeared. <laughs> what uh, the heck? Oh my, what is... oh. At the highest oh. level. Oh. I like that. All Might in the Art. Oh. August 2nd. No. Friday. Okay. Roadshow. Okay. okay. All right. So let's okay. start. Okay. Let's start from the beginning. <laughs> We get all From my... the beginning, folks. From the beginning. This... Hold on. So, we get... So... I like it. I mean, it makes sense, right? There's gotta be a lot of people. It's like, you know, in The Dark Knight, when it's like, what's the difference between you and me? You know, I'm not wearing hockey pads, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, you see, this dude is a complete fanboy. Like, if you... Yeah, he's got the photos in the background of All Might. Uh-huh. Uh... Uh, he's even oh. got... He's... Damn, he... How did he get how that he, picture? Yeah, I know, how, is, how is he getting some of these photos? That's Hold the on, picture see. of All Might as he fought all for one, where the lady behind him is like, Don't give up, All Might! And he's like, No, I'll never give up! That just happened! Like, <laughs> like that was quick, man! Where'd they get that angle? Uh, That's a photo of All Might right there from when he met Midoriya, and he just started bro, to like. Bro's the narrator. He's got the narrator. Yeah, where is he getting these? Sh no, see, they're gonna re-edit it so in the background you can like see him like taking snapshots in the background of different episodes. All right, hold on. At twenty-three seconds, we got Midoriya chasing a car. Okay, well hold on, oh, hold on. Okay. At, at seventeen oh. seconds, that's that's not the same statue of All Might. That we see a communal ward. I don't. That... I don't think it is because it it looks bigger. Short... Oh, I... Wait, what's all that shit up in the sky? You yeah, they're like that? UFOs. It's probably like some Ooh. kind of shield or disperser of whatever it was that was shown later on. 
All right, so, but this Maybe? this guy is like, I will be so the next. Or, or it's just like, maybe a room. Like, it looks like it's projecting maybe the sky. Like, it could be in a room. Oh, or like, a, like a danger room kind of X Men yeah, yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, yeah. past the Toho animation. Okay, so now I'm finally at where yeah. the Midori chase. Yeah, yeah. Is he chasing so, or tailing? It what? looks like. It might, um, he has to be tailing. I mean, no car is. <laughs> He's not chasing a car. He could just like, <laughs> take out all the tires or just. Well, the the back doors are open, so it's like. Yo, hold on, dude. That's a. This is his new uniform. It's got the orange. Right. Why? Why the orange? Why orange? Yeah. Is it like a reference to Gran Torino? Gran Torino is yellow. Yeah. I mean, I guess he kind of had. Oh. No, he was pretty yellow. He's pretty the... yellow. Yeah, he's pretty yellow. Uh. <sighs> All I can't my... imagine. Uh... It must have been, it'd been kind of cool if he'd had like slight nods to like the users. I don't know, and his outfit. That'd been kind of cool. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know how he would do it, but okay. you, I mean. Okay, that that just that that shot of him just fucking Team Rocket blasting off. Again, the blasting off again. Yeah. So class A team three. Uh, original work, character design, and supervision by Kohei Arakoshi. Yeah. All right. There's, okay, so that's the truck that he was tailing up from above. So, so. hold on. When the hell does this take place? It, it has like, to take place after I'm Midoriya sorry. came back to UA. Because he's got yep. the new drip. Yup. But, like, it remind me, it's been a while. I gotta rewatch season six. How much time did we have before Shiggy was gonna roll up on society? <laughs> <laughs> three days. <laughs> was it seriously three days? Yeah, I mean, because they, they said like, oh, he had a month left. They're like, nah, they probably got all this stuff ready to go or whatever. And they said like, oh, we got like a week or I don't know. We'll have to look at it again. But it was like days. It was not weeks that's, or anything. It was days. That's the issue. Like, don't get me wrong. I like having movies be Mo canon yeah, but like make inserting but, like, them into the timeline. It, well, because like with Heroes Rising, it's like, oh yeah, during that whole villain arc. There was a section where the the student we had no idea what the students were for like a like a couple weeks. Yeah, we could boop, boop, slot a movie there, you know. Like two heroes was on like one of their breaks, and World Heroes mission was during the Endeavor Agency arc, which we had a lot of time frame. We got a week here, and yeah, and this is not like this is not something that it's like okay we did it now for the real fight. This is gonna be like something you talk about, I'm sure. Like, hey guys, remember that one time like, we we fought All Might but bad? <laughs> all for one. It's like, oh, they wilding over there. Anyways, I'm just gonna go keep doing evil shit. <laughs> you, you would honestly like, think that All for One would be like, wait, there's a big guy distracting them? Oh, good. Bruh, I think we could kick, kick him out of the oven like a week early. I think that's fine. <laughs> like, let's, let's start now while they're dispersed and distracted and preoccupied and take massive dubs. Um... I do want to. I do want to say, uh, if this is Class A Squad Three at twenty-seven seconds, so we've got. It's honestly not the worst team. I was gonna kind of dog on them, but now that I really think about it, uh, I mean, yeah, obviously Uraka support mid range. Oh, uh, yeah, so mid range uh, support. To Ojiro up front. Midoriya is Midoriya. Midoriya just <laughs> like he brings your team up like two whole tiers. Yeah. Like, and then you got uh, Agakure is... But honestly, you know, uh, if if Midori wasn't on this team, like, Uraraka herself is kind of a weapon. Like, she is a menace. Like, yeah. <laughs> she is really strong, and she's been able to keep up with Toga. Like, she she took that week of Gunhead Martial Arts Bro, to she, heart. she <laughs> took that to heart, man. Like, <laughs> like, it has not left since that season. I wish I could train somebody in a week to fight some of the best <laughs> martial artists in my verse. Hey, I mean, the training from... Uh, Grand Torino is kind of like gone away. He's evolved past it, but Gunhead Martial Arts from season two. It's Can you imagine if Midoriya got Gunhead? <laughs> Dude, Shiggy would have folded in the last arc in season six. Would have ended. Pull this like arm bar and like throw over his shoulder, and Shiggy's just no, like fucking <laughs> Gunhead is like fucking Bang from One Punch Man, where it's just like you know. It's just the ultimate martial art where it's like no matter if how strong they are, I can deflect it and redirect it. He's got By the, the way. death punch. He's got the death punch. <laughs> and the death black. Why aren't you dying, Midoriya? <laughs> I took something too. The death block. <laughs> Will you take the death jump or the death dump? I'll kill you! <laughs> <laughs> I 
anyway, someone so death punt clogged the toilet. <laughs> so anyways, this truck is from UA. It yep. looks like UA on the side. Mm -hmm. It's a carrier transport. It's, looks like it. Yeah, it's them varying to... World Heroes mission esque. Yeah, it looks like it's doing rounds or something. I mean, they're talking about uh, evacuees or not evacuees, like escapees. Mm -hmm. So they're so, doing rounds in the trucks well, or at, something. At first, I thought maybe this was about the assassins, but were there any left after Midoriya went back? Like, or did he just? Oh, you're talking about the assassins going after Midoriya. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think they quit. <laughs> <laughs> After after Nagant, who was like the assassin's assassin, got it's folded. Like, I'm gonna just I'll take my chances. Dude, like, well, I'll like because Nagant was retire. the only one who apparently like took time. Like I I, I was uh, I was watching some clips back from season six, and there was that one assassin who Midoriya was like, "Hey yo, there's an assassin." Click, ring, ring. Hey yo, I handled it. <laughs> like <laughs> like, and he well, just cut to it. It's just like him looking over him, I'm, like standing on him, like, "Yep, done deal." Uh, so Team Bakugo here. That's a stacked team. I mean, they get they get brought down a bit. I'm at 28 seconds. <gasps> right. They get brought we down are, a bit we, because right, of Sato. We got. We already got something for Bingo off of. Oh never. I guess it doesn't count for season seven. Fuck. Wait. What? 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 <laughs> I, I was gonna say for Sato cooking something. <laughs> we don't know if he made that. We don't know if he made that. Who else made it? Who else made it? That lunch rush could have. All right. Lunch rush sweep. All right. Okay, but like, yeah, this team's pretty damn solid. Yeah, yeah that that kind of like how Midoriya brings their team up two tiers. Sato brings their team down two tiers. But the thing is, having Bakugo, Mina, Toko, Yami, and Kirishima, hell, even uh, Koda, like Koda yeah. can be a, an absolute unit when he needs to. I mean, to we got a hell of like tactical slash strong mid ranger close up with Mina, powerhouse Tokoyami, just all around. Bakugo. Bakugo, just the all-star, the LeBron of, the, of any team he's on. Sato can take a punch. Sato can, like, <laughs> cheer people on and make other people look better by comparison. Like, <laughs> Even the NPC in the background is cheering. Well, because, like, if every person can dog every villain, then how is anybody supposed to know how strong that villain is? All right, we need somebody to show up to get blasted. So it's like, damn, this guy's kind of strong. I mean, maybe not. He beat Sato. That's not impressive. Are you just making excuses for Sato to get burned alive by Tommy? <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then... I just want it to happen. I want the, the absurdness I want, I want, of it. I, dude, if, if Sato gets burned by Dobby, that is a Christmas miracle right there. That I is... feel like it, it, if Sato's seen within a mile of, season, like, of yeah, Sato, the like, game's going to be going insane. Like, <laughs> not even if he's within a mile. If there is a shot of Dobby that is followed by a shot of Sato anywhere else in the world or time, it's a massive W. <laughs> Sato over in fucking Malaysia dealing with something. <laughs> Uh, Dobby in Japan, like, game going fucking crazy. Like I foresaw it! It was, <laughs> it was revealed to crazy, me. Crazy, like, he just saw the Avatar doing. <laughs> That'd be a. <laughs> Foaming from the mouth. Uh, and now, our, our third team that we've seen at, at 30 seconds in. Um, uh, smaller, but it's got some. Again, this is some pretty well distributed teams well, here. What kind of hooligans we got? here we what got the barnyard this is a joke we did we made before this the reaction even started we were talking about back in the barnyard because uh, right why wouldn't right. you okay we well, got we, is that cowman dog person a pirate is that a guy a monkey or a koala or what is that oh yeah that, guy's, that. that guy's like a squirrel you can hey, see yo, like who, the tail is that a team aqua member on the ground is that a Team Aqua, yeah. Team Magma member? Yeah, well, there's oh. another one. Is this a, was this a Pokemon <laughs> battle? Hold on. <laughs> they got Tauros. They got they got Houndor. Or maybe that... That's Pushina. Hold on. Hold on. This is, These are some goddamn Hoenn what kind Pokemon. Of next, what kind of next level reference is this, Red? How do we... How do we... How do we dive into this? I'm telling you, man. These guys should fight Ghetto, the, the, the real Pokemon master. Um... Six escapees. Why? But she's like in a pirate outfit. Or am I going crazy? Yeah, no, no, that's uh, definitely a pirate outfit. I don't know why they gave or, the team. Or she a, are those like octopus arms? Am I what? Uh, yeah, I don't what know. am I looking? I can't zoom I in. Don't yet. Know. Uh, zoom... <laughs> but uh, we've got the package duo with Kaminari and Mineta. Uh, they're literally like they're never. 
apart, except for that one instance where they were in season six where Kamen Rider was separated from everybody else. But you know, that. So right before the final war against the villains, <laughs> that's at 31 seconds. Literally, literally, day, like a couple minutes. Like, uh -huh. as they finish this, Stars and Stripes is going to roll up and... Bro, I j look at the top of the ship. Go to 33. Yep. That's, that's an All Might, like, pose statue on top of it. Look at it. That looks All Might-esque. Like, look, you can that, see yeah, the you, hair. You can, you see, can the see the hair that, that and the pose. Uh -huh. Well, his the is his left hand. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I fucking mean. Who the hell built uh, this? God damn. I don't know. What is this? Team, this this looks like Team Plasma getting ready to ice Unova. Like, they are icing a city that's still standing. The I last guess. one? Oh, God damn. Uh, oh, Shibuya. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> they just... Seven. Shibuya 2, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> they hit everything but... What is that thing? That is some... I don't know, what is this, out of Evangelion or something? And it's fucking... I don't know. Also, can I just say that that statue has to be a different one? For obvious reasons, other than just the fact that it's underneath, you know, a Gurren Lagon ship. Um, yeah. But the fact uh, that it's incredibly massive compared to the buildings down there. Yeah, I'm like, who the... F so this dude, another person from another made-up country that has infinite resources that made this giant ship? What is this, the MCU? <laughs> Oh, guys, there was actually this other secret organization that's actually been running the world the entire time for uh, decades. Oh, wait, there's another one. Oh, wait, I'm not here to rant about the MCU. Um, I, I mean, one falls, another takes its place. It suddenly <laughs> appeared. <laughs> what so there's the this. Hell? there's a thing spreading, and it seems to be knocking people out. Now, zooming in and enhancing... At the citizens down there. Are you on 30? What second are you at? 37. 37 seconds. Okay. Okay, so okay this thing's rising out of the ground? Or uh -huh. is it just taking off? It's rising out of the ground, taking off. It, it, it's saying it suddenly appeared. Is that... And this shit's spreading on the ground? I can't tell if those are any of our heroes. Like, uh... Because they're, they're colorful enough to be heroes down there, but I don't think they're... Okay, and it's just shooting rays of light down. Uh, and it's okay, moving people there... back. Or is it moving people towards it? Uh, kind of towards them? I, I, I don't... Yeah, so we've got... At, 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 at 40 seconds, we've got Sero and Uraraka. Uraraka must uh, be... Uh, and gassed. you can see kind of people, like, pa falling to their knees and stuff. Does it, like... Like a treadmill, take, almost. Like, yeah. Does like, it, like, take their energy or something? They like That must be it. We've got Can this dude just like absorb Jiro, Ojiro here. people's energy or something like that? That might be how is... he becomes an All Might level threat. Like, you know. Now, he... this is an All Might level threat. Yeah, he, he creates a Philosopher's Stone of Quirk Power. What's the deal with that guy? <laughs> Eda taking out the fucking phone. <laughs> Look at this 43, Brett. <laughs> He's just taking a fucking selfie. <laughs> like, yo, look at me and my team. We're doing great. So Danger Sense... Hold on. Danger Sense is activating at the highest level, is what Midoriya says. I want to point out, the last time he used Danger Sense, Shigaraki was there, and Jogeta Makia was there, and Dobby was there. <laughs> and they it's all not... had beef. Yeah, this is an Avengers level threat. <laughs> all right. So it's like, like it's growing just, and expanding. It's like a cloud. Of... We're not dealing. This can't be another. I want to get rid of Quirk scenario because I would just be retreading no. the last movie. It would be kind of interesting if you know if this might be the last movie. If it's like it this, probably is. If this, unless, I'm sorry. Well, well, you you first. Unless they you know kind of do a uh, like final season bit where they make it kind of like a two part, three part movie thing, like they did Attack on Titan. Or they make it just like 45 minute long episodes. Season 7, part 1, part 2, part 3, part 3, part 1, part 3, part 2. <laughs> um, what, I, what might I'll be kind of... Okay. What, be kinda, what might be kind of neat is if you get a kind of almost like a combination of all three of the movies. So like, 
not just in terms of like plot structure, but you get a villain who's like, you know, it's basically we finally get anti Deku, right? Which is actually Shigaraki, <laughs> but we're not getting into that like development cycle. Yeah. I mean, like a All Might super fan who's a mega nerd who has followed him closely. And who wants to remove all quirks while simultaneously keeping all quirks while also being juiced on new tech. No, so so my my where I'm going with this is like so he he follows this shit and he's like, oh, I saw when you guys like I followed all the news, I got all this you know secure footage of when you guys got attacked by criminals on I Island, and I found that you have this device that could amplify quirks on it. And I, you know, I somehow got my hands on that, or uh, I made a shitty version. And then we can tie in two heroes with that. And then with Heroes Rising, don't really know how a cell activation quirk helps with this guy. But, like, <laughs> you know, it's the idea of, like, maybe something that corresponds with, like, Nine's plan. But that doesn't make sense. No, nah, I feel like it'd be too, too much trying to tie it all together. Maybe it's just have nods to all the people. I from would want some of nods. Because we have nods. Have that... Melissa show up. Have, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know, yeah. we have the big gauntlets, like their thing, you know. Mm-hmm. They're, they're prominent. They're being used. Mm-hmm. So, like, um, you know, it's one thing that I liked about the Dragon Ball uh, movies is that while they weren't canon to the show, all the Dragon Ball movies, with the exception of Battle of Gods and whatnot, had continuity with each other. So, you know, the Tree of Might and Lord Slug and, you know, Revenge of Cooler's Return, The Reckoning, you know, these, these movies, they had <laughs> continuity with each other. And so the, the My Hero movies, I kind of want, they have continuity with the show in that both reference each other. Limit, you know, well, the, the show represents the, the movies, you know, limitedly. Uh, but... I kind of want more reference from the other movies in the movies, you know? Like, why not? Give us a shot like, of... What, what are you talking about, like, of, like... Just more nods to the movies, like, going, Hey, I remember when we went to Eye Island, or when, you know, we all... When I gave you One for All, and Bach goes like, What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> like, don't, don't you remember? You, you know, you, why I, would you, I like, take you, your lame-ass you know, <laughs> All right, so it is growing. It's something you can kind of touch because Midoriya can like bounces off of it. Does he? Okay, this... sure he's just not floating and then just he could be that. Now this guy's this all might want to be. He's got like Mandarin drip. Look at this guy's rings. I know, dude. I don't know. Maybe he can like capture quirks or something. I don't know. So he's. The ring's gotta mean something, right? Also, I want to point out that this mask is designed to be intimidating, but what it actually is is basically just a do-rag to protect his hair. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, all right, now when I take this mask off, the hair should come up the exact way I it's want it like, to. It's just like flat. It's just straight back. <laughs> it's like, like, damn it! I messed up. I messed it up. Yeah, that's how they defeat him. They, they give him a haircut, and he loses all his power. The next All Might? So... What the hell could... Okay. Is this guy quirkless or does he have a quirk? Naturally. I I think he's got a quirk. <laughs> is he uh, an, a one-for-all backed entity or is he not? What do you mean one-for-all backed entity? Did I say one-for-all? I mean all-for-one. Oh, okay. Ah, he just seems like a crazy fanboy. Yeah, cracked up crazy fanboy. You know, keep him away from idols with children. Um. Yeah, I, I, I can't. There's get not shit off a this. lot to work with. <laughs> um, like I'm trying my damnedest here. I can't. I don't got anything else. So this is going to release well into season seven. This is August second. The second season, uh, the seventh season, officially begins in like March or May. I think uh, it's I, May. Oh, thank God it's May. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to have to deal with the early waking up and having to do with my capstone class too. <laughs> thank God. I was just talking about this with Gabe. It might have been with you, but. I 
I know it's not a favorite between you guys, but I much prefer the 4 a.m. My Hero ship because I never had to worry about, like, scheduling. Because, yeah. like, nobody's doing anything at 4 a.m. <laughs> like, I'll like, find something. I will find something Chainsaw else. Man and Demon Slayer and even Jujutsu tough. Kaisen, which was just me. <laughs> like, I had to get home from work, watch it as fast as I can, react, and then leave for my other job. Like, to get it done. With my hero, it's just wake up. You're good. Wake up. Yeah. Wake, wake up. up. This new, new episode of MHA just dropped. Wake up. Yeah. But... <laughs> Manual right. sweep just happened. Wake up. <laughs> Guys, the greatest piece of fiction ever released just occurred. The game be like... <laughs> so, I am... I, I, I would be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous in how this will affect the anime because the continuity of things well no I, continuity okay with this one i'm actually a little bit more worried because again like the other ones there was enough time in between there wasn't as much pressing shit going on like what 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 conflicts does world heroes mission create oh at one point during his uh uh internship with Endeavor, he went to a different country and stopped a global conflict. That's massive, and it should be referenced. But it's not like we have to square Good that job. in. That didn't happen five hours prior to the war <laughs> arc, you know? Like, this is gonna be... What I'm nervous about is it's, you know, it's... You only have so many animators. You only have so much production time. Yep. It's a it's a common thing. I Now, to be fair... You know, you're worried about resources being allocated. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and to be fair, Which is fair, I have no idea how this goes, how, how this goes in, you know, the behind the scenes. They, yeah. they might have, you know, this might have absolutely no effect on the main series. It might have a tremendous effect. I don't know how it works. It's just, what makes sense to me is that you would have to use animators. And let's face it, movies get the sauce. Movies get they gas. Get, they, you know, they, 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 they get that yeah, money. They, exactly. They, that money. Right? they get that we'll good get animation Sasuke shit. All right? <laughs> I and, think we're a little bit past good animation Sasuke. I think we should be referencing good animation Rengoku. <laughs> and while... <laughs> while yeah, of... Or JJK. Or what, JJK. I was just about to reference. While I prefer, massively, the writing to MHA, and I would take writing characters and plot over fight scenes and animation every time. But Jujutsu Kaisen had really cool fights. Uh, like, you know? It, it <laughs> no, definitely elevates, it elevates what's it, going you know? on. The stakes, what you're feeling, like, it's hype, you know? Like, exactly, you're watching, exactly. You're watching my boy Yuji just dog on Mahito into a pillar. And while, while I'm just... still wondering what is actually kind of going on with Jujutsu Kaisen, <laughs> I'm still. At least I'm going. Wow. Wow. This is really <laughs> cool and confusing, and not just confusing. <laughs> like, are are wondering why certain characters didn't get the specific development that I kind of hoped they did. I'm not going into you Want to see my reactions? <laughs> I did actually like it. Don't take this as me shitting on it. No, that's enjoy that. Uh, but well, I, question I, though, Prosy, I mean, would you rather have it that this movie has little impact on the show, or like you have little reference to it, or would you have it where it's like significant? reference to the show so that's for this movie specifically and what's going on i would want little but that's only because of what this movie's content seems to be now before we had this trailer or the poster or any information on it but we knew that a movie was greenlit yep. what i really wanted was something to do with the with either the rise of all for one all Might's training to defeat him, or a, not necessarily anthology, but the, a movie showing the passing of the torch that led to Midoriya. Like, I... Th yeah, that imagine getting that All Might versus All for, all for One, one fight. fight. in the, both their primes with, with good the animation, would, Sasuke the, animation. Oh like, my god. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> with All Might with his guts strewn about, All for One with a face still. <laughs> I mean, it's good though to be more for like climax and stuff, or maybe we'll leave it better to be unknown, but like the better of those, more of the world building of like the beginning of Quirks and how it kind of mm -hmm. became rampant and you know, the Stark Overlord doing stuff in the beginning of One for All and how that kind of mm -hmm. became a thing, I guess. It, it, I don't know. It, 
that I feel like there's a lot for that early world building that we could still absolutely, get. absolutely. Because could, the quirks would be entirely different. Knowledge of quirks is entirely different. Reference of quirks is entirely different. Go, yeah, gov- right. government functions would be completely different. Like it, would, it would be wild, wild west mm-hmm. because the quirks are new. And you could have it take a little bit more of a darker tone because it's a movie. And what it would help do is it could help really enforce just how far these people went. Yeah, <laughs> to the point where it's like, no, we're finally here. We're finally ready to put this down for good. Like, like we had glowing babies. And we had people that can, like, heat objects a little bit. But now we have people that can... Oh, I'm not just referring to the size <laughs> and scope of the, of the wor- world itself. I'm referring to the journey that one for all... Yeah, that, to, that to, too. to get here, like um, the, yeah, of like little when we see Doc those dots and how like we have more of an understanding of the stories that those people had the struggles that, they, that it took to get them there. Well, I feel um, it would be tough trying to like do that gather many all this, that many people one story. It would be because I mean that's why I think it'd be kind of cool if it was just like um, all for one his brother and then the next two because those were those guys were around at the same time, like. You know, because the the second and third, they were yep. like bros in like some kind of like resistance thing that we saw in season six. Yep, yep. And, mm-hmm. Go back to that. And we're like, what? What? what why are they shadowed out? Who's what that? Do, <laughs> uh, and then, yeah. Th- th- so if it was a movie like that, I would want it to be massively referenced. I would be completely fine with them having like flashbacks, like if Midori's in the Vestige world and he's about to say he unlocks the final quirk, whatever it is. It's like, you know, you can get flashbacks to, like... You get more a build-up of that, of, like, Although, I guess, to... I guess the only thing I'd be worried about is... Either, A, it gets revealed before the movie, but if we have a movie on the previous users, the last quirk would be revealed, and I would much rather learn what it is through the show, as it was kind well, of intended. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. But it would have been kind of cool, I guess, to, like, with the aid of the movie... It'd be supplementary, right? But, like, you see, the beginning fighters, he's very, like... It, it could be much, maybe a much more, like, tactical type of... Mm-hmm. Like, very technical, like, overclock type deal kind of quirk. Where yeah, it's yeah, not, like, yeah. It, like, all these nitty-gritty details to make it better, and he just optimizes it. But, like, and that's then, what makes it super good. And, and that well, seems like unstoppable. We... But it gets him a Dory, it's just fucking blown out of proportion. Yeah, You're his like... overclock <laughs> is, like, literally the flash it's, where he... Begins... He's just like, see, I that was me. I can shatter the speed limit. Like... <laughs> like, see, I mean, my quirk used to be all right, but, like, I just had to have really good technical know-how to use it. Now, uh-huh. look at you go, and he just fucking breaks the yeah. sound barrier. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> yeah, no, man. Just goes off. Mm-hmm. But... Yeah, so... God, overclock is such a cool power. Can you it imagine? Is, it is. Read Vigilantes. Read it. <laughs> Read it. Uh, My boy, Sky, we was crawlers. We was we crawlers. Was, we was crawling the sky. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's it. That's it right there. Um, uh, You know what? A Vigilantes movie. A movie that, like, does, like, summarizes I, I would, the arcs of Vigilante. I would, I would be fanboying so hard the entire Dude, time. Dude, <laughs> I would be legit chum chum. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I would be... <laughs> you need a chum chum to my fanboy. Every time. <laughs> Whenever needed, brother. <laughs> um, but yeah, well, okay, since we're on the topic of movies, if you could create a, a movie scenario for my hero, which would you uh-huh. choose? Of, of what we've been talking about? Well, it could be literally anything. I, I would like a... Um, I mean, it might feel weird, like it's like grounded out of the present with our current characters and stuff, but if we got that... Back like users, two and three type deal of like early quark society. Now this shit was like it's one thing to all talk about it, you know. Like this dude rules; he's got all of his goons. But it'd be really cool to show like how different society was then, because yeah. we've all only got on like hearsay of what it was like. All we know is that it was like it, rougher. It was just yeah, like... r- rougher, gritty. Just not established really like hero societies yet. It's just kind of vigilantes and people doing their thing. So like, and it would also it would cool. also really help enforce the reason why All Might was so necessary. Mm-hmm. Like, especially because in those days it was like fucking it was a dark time. Like yeah. before before the governments really got down and figured out how to deal with a new super powered society. Like, you could have these like you could have it have a much more mature. And uh, you know, dark 
themes and content. Not yeah. so much where it's like, wow, okay, this just got edgy really fast. But just yeah, like... We... <laughs> when you, you... Yeah, sorry. But like, even too, because we just have with quirks that have also just enhanced technology so much too. Mm-hmm. Like, they kind of go hand in hand and then just one just boosts the other and it boosts the other. So it's like, go back to very minimal hero equipment. No hero equipment, really. Mm-hmm. Not a, that's not even Oh, really I need a to get around. Like I don't have like a, a gas propeller powered grappling hook. <laughs> I have a little swing and I rope on a hook <laughs> and I have to climb it up. You know, shit. Oh no, I have to use a normal grappling gun instead of my. Instead of my wrist powered <laughs> fucking laser guided, you know, spring boots. <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> My yeah, phone I, locked, locked onto that ledge. We're up, up, and away. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like, yeah. just... Yeah, I, I... I would probably choose that. Either that or seeing the ascension of All for One as this ultimate evil. Like, and the way I would see have it kind of go is you, you could have it be, like... Because he's so old, you could have it cut, like, jump to portions of his life. Like, you know, he realizes he has his power. And mm-hmm. like you know, he you know he goes and he starts taking powers, and he realizes what he can do with it. Then you jump to his initial confrontations with his brother, and like the ideas of like justice and whatnot. And then you can have it jump to like when he's starting to hunt down the quirk, and then it could end with the All Might fight, and like how it can be like from All for One's perspective. Oh, well, we keep doing like a. Uh... Like, start present and, like, things going on. It keeps jumping back and getting closer and closer to the now. And to the then, now, yeah. And, like, and we get little flashbacks with every single user mm-hmm. and those eras and things that he did. And then it cuts, we get the All Might fight. I mean, mm-hmm. that, that'd that be kind of cool. Yeah, uh, you know, and it It'd could be, be cool like... to get that. We could get his perspective on, like, how those different encounters went. Where it was, like, you know, oh, you know, Nana Shimura, how pitiful. She, you know, she, you know... So, you know, so, you know, valiant in her efforts, but so far removed from success. And then, you know, he could be like, All Might, <laughs> there's not a single person I will ever hate more than him. <laughs> like, and, you know, it could be like, you know, because All Might was the first person to, you know, job him. You know, like, so... <laughs> I wouldn't call it necessarily jobbing, but, you know, they like... They both got jobbed. <laughs> you know, they, and so it could be like that kind of... And what it could be, you could even frame it like, you know, All for One and All for One are having a conversation about, well, like All for One and Shigaraki and All for One and All for One are having a conversation about, like, the vestiges that they encountered in there. And he could be, like, explaining the powers to the, maybe to Shigaraki, depending on if Shigaraki's going to be in control or if All for One's going to be in control. And it could be like, here's what you have to look out for. This guy, man, he was a pain. And, like... <laughs> You know, he could turn anything into a Rubik's Cube. like <laughs> Unsolvable. Unsolvable. <laughs> I hate Rubik's Cubes, man. I hate them. <laughs> Still haven't found the quirk to solve Rubik's Cubes. Do you think we're gonna get either A, the quirk, the last quirk before the movie, or the last quirk in the movie? Because if you remember doing Heroes Rising... Yeah, Black Whip was definitely out in the manga before Heroes Rising, and they didn't show it, but they did allude to Midoriya having multiple quirks. Now, there yes, was enough gray did with area Nine, for look, us. That, that mm-hmm. exploded our whole mm-hmm. discussion on multiple quirks. There was enough like, gray like, area for us to for us to, to not immediately we, cling to that idea. Well, but we but, wiggled on it because, I mean, with Nine saying mm-hmm. he couldn't take it, and yep. we're just like, oh, wait, core consciousness, mm-hmm. multiple quirks, and we're like, already, okay. <laughs> it was like, is this the quirk, is this the stockpiling mixing with the passing on, or is this something else? There was enough there for where it wasn't just immediately revealed to us, even though it, it gave us basically, you know how like in Civ you can get like inspirational tech boosts. <laughs> yeah, like we it dropped us from getting uh, multiple quirks from eighteen turns to nine. Like, <laughs> the, yeah. Oh, and you know the whole explanations of behind one for all. We mm-hmm. we, we jumped like two seasons ahead. Yeah, <laughs> and so <laughs> we jumped two seasons with two seasons ahead of the game. Um, Look at you, still stuck in the art still, tournament arc. You're still stuck with Overhaul, huh? <laughs> <In the war. laughs> is that what it, isn't that, how far ahead is the manga, I wonder? Is it two arcs? Is that just how they feel all the time? Well, uh, 
Uh, but any, the, the, the <laughs> viewers on the other side of the screen. Yes, yes. <laughs> <and> the... <laughs> but like, do you think? Well, okay. The funny thing is, is that we won't be able to watch this until like a year after it comes out. Ugh. I hate That's I hate right. movies. I hate movies so much because <laughs> when they release, they release in theaters. I can't bring my lights and camera into a theater and then <laughs> shout and scream at hype moments and go, "I'm sorry, but uh, Midoriya is massively hypersonic. How did he get hit by that punch?" You know, in, in a theater. That's that would be incredibly obnoxious. It's obnoxious I, I, here. I'm <laughs> sitting at the end. Of, I'm sitting at the end of the movie credits and going into the next movie showing, still talking hey! about what just happened. Roll that scene back. I want to see what. <laughs> pause, pause, pause. Pause, 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 pause. Hold on. I think that's native. <laughs> they bring native the white in the rest of the theater. Dead silent. We're pause. literally throwing things, like ripping chairs out of the seat, <laughs> cutting into the cushions, losing our minds like we just got hit by the rage virus from 28 years later. <laughs> I think Gabe would go feral. Like he turned into a fucking like World War Z zombie. <laughs> just tapped. Hold the nearest <laughs> Three local men lose their minds after watching a Japanese serial cartoon movie. <laughs> now clinically insane <laughs> men. Alright. What what do you want to see more? Native the White or Shin Spinzilla? <sighs> <laughs> um, so on one uh, hand I think the obvious answer would be Native the White but I want my boy Spinner to get something so bad <laughs> I can't tell you how deflated I was it, when he thought I just so Quark was just thinking it would be like 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 he just gets like he becomes a giant green lizard Wait like, a he's minute, got purple Joe. hair what go back to the scene of the statue on the tower are we yeah, sure yeah. that's all my <laughs> <laughs> it's shit Spinzilla. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine insane. we get a bit with like the opera playing, and it's just uh, his oh, eyes just... roll back <laughs> <laughs> in the beam. <laughs> he just glasses Shibuya. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait. You know, if only we didn't dust Xless, we could have <laughs> all for one create shit Spinzilla. I forgot about Xless, man. Damn Wait, it. hold up. Is it easier to create Shin Spinzilla out of out of Spinner or out of Machia? Like, do we take the lizard out of Spinner and give it to Machia? Or do we take Machia and give it to Spinner? I mean, I feel like with Machia, all of his other quirks are so overpowering, so maybe he gets, like, a little bit of scales, and now he can just climb on walls. Like, that's you know how cursed that is. Just what wall holds his ass? That's uh, true. He just climbs it anyway, so... It, or just walks through it. Honestly, he'll just walk through it. He doesn't climb on anything. Yeah, so, Nay of the White's the true answer, but my god. <laughs> I don't even need, like, Shin Spinzilla. I just need him to, like, uh, I'm, I'm telling something. you, if... What, what was the thing we said? I'll do a backflip if we see it in the fucking... Oh my god, it was in the 10k reaction. <laughs> and then, uh... Uh, no, it was it was a vigilantes, right? It was oh, the vigilantes. Uh, yeah, if, I, yeah. if we see any vigilantes, I'll do a backflip. <laughs> <laughs> Native the white coming in with the Rokirum, but it's the vigilantes, and he's like, "To the king!" <laughs> like I'm imagining too, like you playing the coconut song, and it's just me slow motion, like landing on my fucking head. <laughs> Because we'd just be in separate places at that point. I just landing on my head on my chair and then just rolling off. I can't. And no other context. There's people watching this and going like, "What the fuck?" I'm just imagining it's the Battle of Ministereth. Oh no, not Ministereth uh, of Helm's Deep. And you know the orc that runs into the pipe. I'm just imagining that Shin Spinzilla as he jumps in. <laughs> Destroys the game. <laughs> UA's wall. <laughs> UA's walls and, uh, and us all doing a flip. <laughs> and that's where you get, you get Native the White cresting the hill. You know? <laughs> With the Vigilantes characters. It's like, <laughs> look for I, I... me. On the sunrise of the fourth day. Look to the west. Or... <laughs> I, I, I'd probably pass out. Oh, it's the east. Look to the east. It's, it's so... 
Oh man, so the, it would, yeah, if that happens in this movie, it's the best movie ever made. I, I, I hope, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, <laughs> we might got a little off track. <laughs> we got a little I, off track. A community poll that for when we watch this movie in a year and four months, uh, <laughs> we'll have to put out the community poll of who has better drip, uh, this guy or a gentle criminal. He's got well. He's got that suit on, like the or, white or season seven, all for one that we saw from the trailer. Yeah, but like he's oh got, yeah, he with, got the, like with the, the purple vest, uh-huh. he's got like the you get that suit vest. Mm-hmm. So I think it's say well, if we're to assume he built that JRPGs final stage <laughs> that we see rising from the ground, he has to have. I mean, look at it. I think the suit and the bow tie is supposed to tell us that he's. Has some kind of money. He's able to get shots from cameras that didn't exist. I mean, like that's that's impressive. Um, Something. And he's got I mean, those damn rings on. I mean, I guess. I mean, there were cameramen at the uh, all night, all for one fight, but I don't think any of them were taking. They were helicopters. Those guys, yeah. those, they're up in helicopters. I mean, <laughs> hey, you know, advanced technology. You know, they can you know, like bounce the light. The, yeah, zoom, off. enhance, uh, rotate 27 <laughs> degrees uh, about his x-axis. <laughs> oh, I, I, yeah. never, I didn't notice this. Hold on. At, at, at 40 seconds, there's like light beams shooting down at like Uraraka and yeah. Saro. Yeah, yeah. And it doesn't yeah, seem to be bad. happening when the just the, the wave is occurring. Well, it looks like it's more like, like the light that's coming off of it or something and it's just moving forward. It's like a giant... Like luminescent, like mass, just I don't know, like they like a cloud of energy or some shit. I don't, I don't fucking know. This thing's weird, man. Like <laughs> this thing's weird. All right, so last last topic of discussion. Let's try and get a little bit more back on the movie. Yep. <laughs> what could possibly be this guy's goal? All we know is that he's an All Might super fan. He took the message personally that All Might gave out to the world, but more specifically to to decade. Yep. So he's viewing himself as the next symbol of peace, right? That's got to be it. Like, he's going to take up that torch. Uh-huh. What's he doing? <laughs> like, whoa, whoa, whoa. how's he going about that? I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe he's kind of self-crazed, egotistical. To, oh, okay, this is just a theory. Just Go for it. This is the time for whatever. theories. Time for like, theories. all right, if you are going to become as strong as All Might, how do you do that? Trigger. Lots of it. <laughs> well, we don't have that anymore. But, let's say, like, you could absorb energy. Right. Or some shit. Like, if you could, on some sort of mass scale. I'm like, it's, I don't know, I'm just it's throwing the shit out. Because it feels like it would be super overpowered. If you can just throw it out on the scale in, like, a city. And just, say, absorb. It's not necessarily quarks, right? But, like. Life energy. The, uh, life energy, power, whatever. So they're, they're we drained have, afterwards. We have we have established that the soul exists in my hero. Yeah. Like and you know, obviously the stronger people are, more energy you absorb out of them, stronger you get. So I mean, it might be an eagle testicle thing, like, okay, society's kind of jank at the moment. And none of you all can do it, but I, with all of your sacrifice, I'm can do the this only myself. One who knows that. <laughs> <laughs> But that's just a movie theory. It's amazing. The it, legend. It, it comes. It comes across. It's just like a big ooze. Yeah, like a big, just, a big sap like, of energy. Like because like they're lying on the ground, like and our heroes are crawling, trying to get away or whatever. It, it gives me a lot. It gives me a lot of uh, spoilers for F- Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. By the way, you, you're, you're being warned in five, four, three, <laughs> two, one. It reminds me of like the nationwide transmutation circle yep. in Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, where it's just yep. ah, you were at the center of everything, and then he activates it, and everybody's like, oh, and amazing music plays, yeah. and you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like instead of it being the soul, it's something else that he is taking, and. Yeah. I could see that being like, I need the power in order to protect the people. Yes. Right? And I so. Mean, I mean, that makes sense, mm-hmm. right? I mean, yeah. We, we could twist that. Like, okay, mm-hmm. yeah, all of you can't do it on your own, but I can do this because, like, and I'm, you know, Massive yeah, All Might uh-huh. fanboy twisting his own way. 
but you know, still being harmful to people. But like, he's got the idea. It's just the wrong way about doing it. And it could be that like. You know, it's like when he's saying you're next, it's not that he necessarily took that exclusively for him. It's like when he's saying you're next, he's talking about it for everybody. It's like everybody will participate. Like they will all you know, lose their power for the sake of a brighter future. I don't want it to necessarily be that they lose their power because that's yeah, you know, no, because that's, that's what just, we, we that's just did that. One. We're, we're kind of dealing <laughs> with that already. Well, like not just with all for one taking powers, but that was what blue guy. <laughs> uh, yeah. That was his. That was his beat. That well, was... it was rather than taking their powers. I was making them all essentially kill their kill themselves and all the uh, ensuing. Getting chaos. rid of. Uh, we're getting rid of the quirked individual. As they go, as they go, the quirked crazy. up. They um, get all quirked up, if you. <laughs> yes, removing the quirked up from society. A dummy quirked up. Uh huh. Uh... Oh, all right. I mean. Anything else? It's something, it's something to move on, I guess. Mm -hmm. We won't know for another year and four months. I'm sure we'll get more from, like, another trailer, which Gabe will be here for. Uh, my, my final question Surely. is, Joe, uh, which team claps the others? Uh, Midoriya's, Bakos, or Todoroki's? Well, I mean, <coughs> it's Midoriya. <laughs> And that's it, wrong. folks. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure it's not the other teams. It's just like Bakio's keeping up at like 40, 30, 30, 40, 30%. which is insanity, but really. We boys got fudge in now and all the other stuff, and it took the entire squad just to kind of catch up to him. And, and he, he wasn't was fighting, he was not fighting back, he was dehydrated. <laughs> It yeah. was raggedy. Yeah. <laughs> Depressed. Uh, de Depressed. <laughs> uh, Desensitized. De all yeah, sad. He, yeah, he was he was hungry, tired, thirsty. <laughs> all all these negative traits. He had all the debuffs on. And it's yeah, still it, it's still they had to verbally win him over. They could not force him. They they did they could not make him go. Um yeah. All right, well, I think that's going to be it for this trailer. Thank you all so much for watching. We've been the Custodians. I'm Rhett. I'm Joe. And this was our reaction to the first trailer, to the fourth movie of My Hair Academia. Make sure you join us when Season 7 rolls around. We're doing a fun oh, bingo baby. challenge with a bunch of bingo predictions, and we have sheets, and we're likely going to be slapping the shit out of each other. <laughs> uh, I, I, You'll feel it through my camera, Red. Right? I promise. <laughs> now we'll, we'll definitely do a stream where we just slap each other for all we're worth. <laughs> no, I'll just quiet. Just like it'll just I'll have an announcer. It'll just be like Leah or somebody. We'll have an announcer off camera. Like, all right, duly noted of Gabe onto Joe for striking the uh, manual. Oh, not the manual sweep. The the Shin Spinzilla. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> I just said that we take it and then go to the All next right, one. Alright, next. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so make sure if you want to support us, you can do that by, you know, going to our Patreon. You'll get access to full-length reactions of just about everything that we've watched starting at, through 2022 is when I started that. So it's not from, from our earlier stuff, but most of our content has our full-length reactions to it. And yeah. I've We'll see you soon, both with Demon Slayer Season th 4, uh, Hashira Training, Mob Psycho Season 3, and My Hero Academia Season 7. Oh, as well as a certain other show that will be starting this month, which I dread tremendously. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.